rod from VMN here, the home of the Spaceship Plasma Cutter. And I wanted to just talk about something totally different. Well, this is a um, test bed using Linux CNC and some EtherCAT drives. So over here there's two large NEMA 34s, 8 newton meter drives. And over this side there's a smaller NEMA 23. Um, and um, over here is the three drives, three EtherCAT drives. So they're, che they're chained together via EtherCAT. And then finally down the bottom here, I've got the I.O. Um, EtherCAT I.O. module. So, um, and just driving it, just to finish that off, driving this here, we've got a 24 volt logic power supply, a 60 volt AC toroid, 12 and a half amp toroid. And this one here is just in a little test bench, um, is um, an input filter fuse and um, switch using an IEC connector here. But the main thing we want to talk about here is our, our I.O. because what you'll see here now is that we've got um, input 3, output 3, P out 3 is on and input 1 is on. So what I've done is I've taken a relay here and I've connected it um, that output in HAL to a um, to one of these outputs, and I've taught, I've connected that um, over in Linux CNC. So that's turned this relay on, which in turn has um, has connected the um, the input around here to the input on this green wire here. So that's why those two lights are on. So let's just swing over to Linux CNC, and we'll have a look at what this looks like here. So here I've got the flood, flood um, cooler selected and over here you can see that we've got EtherCAT inputs 1 to 3 and outputs 1 to 3 and you can see 1 and 3 are eliminated. So if I duck over here to um, flood and I turn that off then our I.O. will turn off. So very cool, just a really simple um, test to show that um, this works with EtherCAT. So thanks for that.